I'm going to show you how to find six specific solutions of cosine of theta equals negative a half. So if we look at cosine, so let's say this is a unit circle. This has a radius of one. This is the point zero one. Any cosine of any angle on this unit circle is the x-coordinate. So this point right here is the cosine of theta for your x-coordinate, and its y-coordinate is the sine of theta. So that's true of any unit circle. Now, the thing about these special angles, um, the cosine of 30 or 60 or 45 or any of the axes need to be memorized. But you don't have to just outright memorize them. You can draw a picture. So every, every angle starts here at 0. Now, cosine is the x-coordinate of the angle and its intersection with the unit circle. And what you find is that for the cosine to be a half, that means the x-coordinate is a half. And that means that the y-coordinate, because it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the y-coordinate is the square root of 3 over 2. 1 half and the square root of 3 over 2 always go together when it comes to sines and cosines. So um, if you need this to be negative a half, then it needs to be over here. Because here's the y-axis. And so if you need this point to have an x-coordinate of negative 1 half, the y-coordinate will be the square root of 3 over 2. But this is what you're interested in. And so this happens um, at the pi over 3s. OK, so here's pi over 3 or 60. This is 2 pi over 3, or 120 degrees. Now, if you extend the x-axis back, you're also going to have another one right down here. Because this angle also has a cosine of negative a half. This right here is negative a half. This point is at negative 1. So this angle, this has coordinates negative a half, but negative square root of 3 over 2. And so here's 1 pi over 3. Here's 2 pi over 3. Here's 3 pi over 3, or pi. So then this is 4 pi over 3. So this is 60, 120, 180, 180, and 60. This is 240 degrees. It doesn't, anyway, that's a 2. Then, um, the other one, I didn't draw that very well, but anyway, this and this one here, is it positive one half radical three over two? This one, here's positive a half, here's one. This one, 
is at positive a half radical 3 over 2. They always go together. And so this is at 300 degrees or 5 pi over 3. Or 300 degrees. Now, we only want the negative a halves, the thetas that have a cosine of negative a half. So I don't know if you need to be in radians or in degrees, but they are, if we're in degrees, 120 degrees if you go around this way or 240 degrees. If instead you go around this way, well, this is negative 120. And then coming up to here would be negative 240. But we still need two more. So you can just go around the circle again um, let's go this way. So we're going to go, here's 120, here's 240. We don't hit them again. I'm at 360 here, and then I have to go another 120. So 360 plus 120 means I have another one at 480 degrees or um, negative 480 degrees. If you have to be in radians, then the first one is at 2 pi over 3, and the next one's at 4 pi over 3. But if you go this way, you're going negative 2 pi over 3, and negative 4 pi over 3. And just like the other one, you're going to have to go around the circle again to get the other two. So if I go around the circle again, this is 6 pi over 3. So here's 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 5 pi over 3, 6 pi over 3, 7 pi over 3. This is going to be 8 pi over 3. And negative 8 pi over 3. And those should be the answers in radians or degrees. There's actually an infinite number of them, but here are six specific solutions.